Hi people, in this tutorial I am going to teach you to write annotative text and dimensions. It's simple, we just need to play a bit with scales in the workspace. The text height that we insert for our text is actually the real size that will be printed. For example, in layout 1 I want to write text in this viewport with a text height of 0.005 meters. This is the procedement. First, check out the scale of the viewport. Double click inside here and I can see it as 1 per 200. Then switch to the Model tab. On the Home tab, go to the Annotation panel, click on this arrow and switch the first tab to Annotative or to a style that has this icon associated. Change the scale to fit the viewport scale. I click on 1 per 200. Create a single line text here. The command is up there. Click for the base point and when you are prompt to insert the height it says here specify paper height. I am going to type 0.005 because in this drawing I'm using meters as, uh, as units. Type the text and click in a different place. Then switch again to layout 1 and here you have the text. If you print it and check it with the rule, it has to measure 5 millimeters. Now, Let's go to another layout tab, this one. This time I want to add a text to the viewport where I have the door. The scale here is 1 per 16. So going back to the model space, let's find the door. I'm going to switch the scale to 1 per 16. And let's draw another text. This time, for the paper height, I type 0.01, 1 cm. Finally, I type the text. When I switch again to the Details tab, I can see the text there. Annotative dimensions. This uses a similar logic as annotative text. If we want to add this dimension line, with the same 5 mm of text height on the paper. Go back to the model space. First, change the current layer to dimensions. Then click on the arrow at the annotation panel and then click on the second tab which is the one for dimensions. Choose an annotative style, this one. Now we have to do a different step. We should edit the dimension style first. Click on this button. In this window, choose Annotative Meters and click on Modify. Here, I go to the label text and specify 0.005 for the text height. Then, in Symbols and Arrows, I can put the same measurement for the arrow line. Finally, I click on OK and close. To add the dimension line, I change the scale again to fit the viewport scale of 1 per 200. Click on this icon to draw a dimension line and I'm going to place it here. When I finish, I can go to the Layout tab and here you have the dimension line. Okay, it's too light in a white paper. That's no problem. I can click inside the viewport, go to the layer properties and then in dimensions. I can change the viewport color to a darker one. Now it's much better. So, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and 
subscribe to Cat in Black to receive notifications of new updates. Still, if you need online private lessons, send me an email to the address that is showing there. See you next time!